teaches, especially to work from home moms and dads, or to those of you who have a day job, this video is for you because we're going to be covering ESL companies that actually allow you to work on a graveyard shift. By graveyard, well, not necessarily 10 p.m. until like 5 or 7 in the morning, but night shift ESL companies. And basically, these are ESL companies that um, cater to students located in, in Europe or in America. So if you're interested, please continue watching because we're going to be covering five different companies that I do recommend. Let's talk about the first company, it's Skyang or Skyang. I'm not really sure if I pronounce it right, but uh, what I'm sure of is this is a legit company because I myself have, have applied on this company. It's just that I, I declined the application. Um, they were already giving me the job offer and all that, scheduled my interview, et cetera, but I'd had to decline it because of the required hours. So. I'm the type of person who needs flexibility and I will not be able to commit to their 20 hour per week requirement. But to those of you who would be, this is a great company because they actually have a pretty decent pay for us Filipino teachers. And by the way, just a disclaimer uh, to my foreign viewers, well, I'm not going to be covering other currencies. I'm just going to be covering Philippine pesos. And just to be clear, we are paid way less than native speakers um, because we are only near native speakers. Native speakers are paid more than us, and I'm not going to be covering the, the rates here. And uh, once again, I'm just going to be covering the currency, Philippine peso, and the time zone that we're going to be covering would be uh, Philippines time. So for Skyang, um, our students would be kids and adults, and mostly would be European students. So teachers nowadays, you know, we are... We are staying away from, from ESL companies that cater to Chinese students, not because we have an issue with China, but because China has recently um, implemented regulations regarding, you know, um, tutoring, private tutoring and ESL companies, greatly affecting all ESL companies located in China and those who cater to Chinese students. So um, for this video, we're not going to be, you know, we're not going to be covering anything about China. We're just going to be covering safe European companies. By safe, I mean, these are companies that, you know, um, would somehow guarantee job security in the next months to come. So um, some students for, from Skyang actually come from the U.S., but I doubt that they are, you know, citizens, or rather not citizens, but, you know, natives of the U.S., but maybe these are immigrants who would like to learn English. So for the qualification, um, we're required to have teaching certification uh, to Filipino teachers out there. Um, if you do not have TESOL certification or TEFL, you could actually just search it on Facebook. There are quite a few uh, companies that offer a 120 20 hour certification which includes the certificate itself i got mine from metro deal but for some reason it's no longer working but you could visit the international open academy to get your tsol certification you could also go to the world tsol um academy or world tsol academy to get your certification as well just search them on facebook now a degree is not required in skyang and the requirements would be six Mbps download speed and two Mbps upload speed. And uh, basically just, you know, at least a Windows 7 for Windows, Mac OS 10 for Mac and a noise canceling headset. For the working hours, once again, the minimum working hours would be 20 hours per week. And the shift would be 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. Um, Philippines time. This is to cater to European students and 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. to cater to American students or maybe students located in America. Now, for the salary, um, the currency that they use would be, oh, my apologies. The salary that they use would be uh, rubles. I'm not sure if I uh, pronounce it right. This is the currency. So I just converted it to peso. Uh, it's 151 pesos per 50 minute class. 137 pesos per 25 minute class. And there's like a 13 peso to 75 pesos increase per class for regular students. Um, let's say you've had like uh, your 20th class with a regular student, you'll get maybe roughly around 20 pesos additional for the class rate. Now for the bonus, it ranges from 1,374 pesos to 3,435 pesos per month if you have reached your quota, which is 100 lessons. There's a range because 1,374 is for teachers who have had taught uh, at least 2,000 classes. 
um, in the last months accumulated and the 3,435 bonus for teachers who have taught 2001 classes and above in the last months. Now, uh, pay would be twice a month on the 13th and the 28th by a bank transfer. Uh, minimum nine lessons per day, or rather maximum nine lessons per day if you are having 50-minute classes. Um, and then the platform would be Skype plus their web-based platform. And you can apply on this website. This is a super legit website because this is actually where I had my, I did or submit my, my application. So it, it says here, become a teacher at Skyang. And then you just have to simply enter your, your details. Uh, when you click apply online, you just have to simply fill this out. All these details, you know, it's an advantage if you know other languages as well, Spanish, Italian, German, and so on. I just basically answered here, uh, do not know. <laughs> and then just fill it out and then you're gonna be sending an email. The, or rather, you're gonna be receiving an email. Uh, the email that I got looked like this. It's like an offer uh, with my name and then, uh, Basically, it contains everything that I covered on this video, the basic lesson rate, and I said earlier that it's rubles, rubles, and there I go. Everything here would be covered, everything that you need to know, it'll be sent to you via email. There you go. Now, um, let's continue to company number two, English Central. For English Central, once again, it caters to European, Russian students. Uh, you must be a college graduate. And you must have six months ESL experience. And they require that you submit a certificate of employment. So to those of you working in Akatsuk, I got mine from my TM. Usually, you could get the COE from the admin or from your direct supervisor. For the requirements, at least a Windows 7, um, 5 gig RAM, and 5 Mbps internet speed. For the working hours, this is 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Philippine time, or 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. Philippine time for full timers. And your salary will totally depend on your qualification so it's not gonna hurt if you give it a try right so this is a booking system and your platform just like what I'm using right now to record this video is via zoom now um, how to apply well uh, you have to send an email to human resource at englishcentral.com now uh, basic things that you have to include on your email would be your your resume and it would be a plus if you include your self-introduction video as well now uh, next company, it's Classing Elts. I'm not sure if I said it right, Classing Elts or ELTS. Um, mostly your students would be adults. What's good about this company is that it's audio only and most of your students will be from Spain. You must be at least 18 years old with a high school diploma, not a college diploma. Uh, they do not require TESOL or any teaching certification and you do not need any college degree here. However, your internet speed should be at least 10 Mbps and just the basic requirements, you must have like, you know, um, a reliable device, uh, a headset and maybe good lighting and an ideal environment to teach online. Now, the, we also have a required number of hours here, 20 hours per week and the working hours would be one in the afternoon until nine in the evening or nine in the evening until five in the morning. So basically uh, those are other options. For part-timers, we have 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. and 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. Philippines time. Uh, for the salary, it's 130 to 150 pesos for, teacher, uh, for teachers um, per hour. And uh, let me see here. Okay, and then the teaching materials would be provided and the students would be assigned by the company. So uh, if you'd like to apply, you just have to simply go to their website and send your application there. You're gonna see something that looks like this, careers. Then you just have to simply, you know, apply here and basically take the risk, right? You have to take a risk and uh, apply, see for yourself if the odds would be in your favor. Now for the next company, we have the fourth one, we have All Right. So for All Right, uh, All Right Kids, your students would be ages three to 12 all over Europe. So these are very cute students as well, <laughs> different from how we look. Um, you must have ESL teaching experience or a teaching certificate, must have a bachelor's degree at least. And here's the challenge, uh, you must be a C1 in English. So these are people who are proficient users of the language. So by, by proficient, if you're gonna be taking the IELTS exam, you have to get like a band seven or a band eight uh, 
if you're a C1 or a proficient user of the English language, basically someone who could um, confidently express herself both written and um, spoken English, who could uh, listen and read well, and basically have almost had mastery of the English language. Now for the requirements, you just have to know how to use basic web conferencing applications just like Skype or similar to Skype. You must have a Mac or a Windows PC or device. Um, mobile devices are not accepted here. Um, and your internet speed should be 15 Mbps upload and download speed. So uh, you really have to invest on high-speed internet, usually the fiber kind. Now, um, for your salary, it's going to be four US dollars per hour. So in Philippine peso, that's going to be roughly around 200 pesos per hour. Um, and then you're going to get paid via bank transfer, PayPal, or Pioneer. On a biweekly basis, it means twice a month. And for the SOPs, they're going to provide the training that you need, all your materials, your tools will be provided. And they only require 15 hours per week. Um, but again, I personally am not a fan of companies that require or that have um, a minimum uh, required hours per week because I need to be flexible. That's my lifestyle, okay? So anyway, the, the peak hours would be 11 p.m. until 2 a.m. Mondays through Fridays and 6 p.m. until 2 a.m. on weekends. And you may take a leave, just give them a two-week notice. Now, uh, if you'd like to apply, just go to their website. Um, I'll provide all the links on the description box below. And the website basically looks like this, all right. And it says here, um, um, maybe you won't be able to see it, but it shows here Philippines, so this is for the Philippines. Then you just have to click on apply now, and just like the others, you have to fill in all the information and click apply. And again, take a risk. You know, it's gonna be worth your time to just apply and apply and apply, right? So if you get turned down, you have other options as well. Now, um, the last company is gonna be NovaKid. This is gonna be the last company because I also applied here, and their application prices is quite smooth, you're going to be in contact with Russian HR people. So uh, what's going to happen is you're just going to apply online and then the rest would be like an exchange of emails between you and the, the Russian recruiter. Um, and basically your students would be kids. Nova kid, it means your, chil your children. Your students would be kids. And then they're from all over Europe, Russia, Poland, Turkey, Germany, Spain, and other countries. The materials are provided. Um, Qualifications, you must have a bachelor's degree. Uh, you must have TESOL, TEFL, Delta, or CELTA certification and a minimum one year teaching experience with children. So for the device requirements, uh, just the usual again, but they do not accept Windows 7. It should be Windows 8 or higher and Mac OS 10. And high-speed internet connection, it should be at least 10 Mbps or faster. Why? Because when you run the speed test, um, you will be using the Russian server. So it's going to be... It's going to be slower, but if you like have 10 Mbps in the Philippines, it should be okay. I did my speed test with them. My connection was just like yellow instead of green, so it's not that good. It's just okay, but you know they they accepted it. It's okay for them um, as long as your internet speed here in the Philippines is at least 10 Mbps. Now, um, for your hourly rate, this is what I love about NovaKid. For us Filipino teachers, non-natives, okay, near native speakers, it's five to seven dollars, five to seven dollars per hour. But again, I, I turned this down. I just chose Native Camp instead because Native Camp doesn't have um, a required number of hours per week, but Nova Kid does. They require 20 hours per week. So this one is like five to seven dollars. So let's convert that one to pesos. So roughly around 248, 245 pesos to about um, 350 per hour. So not bad, right? However, this would be for regular students. When you're starting off, it's just going to be 2.5 dollars per hour or one dollar and 25 cents per class. So that's like what? Uh, 75 pesos per class if you are just um, doing trial classes. But when you convert the trial classes to regular students, you're also going to be having a bonus for that. Your salary will be sent to you via PayPal anytime you can withdraw them. And the bonuses, there will also be bonuses for successful trial classes and referrals. Now for the schedule, it's going to be 2 p.m. to 3 a.m. the next day. Um, Philippines time. And again, they require 20 hours per week. Now for the SOPs, um, 
their tools were actually very easy to use. Uh, it's just like a web-based application. You're going to do self-training before your demo class. All the materials are provided. And what I like about their tools is they're actually pretty nice. It's a web-based tool, but you could like circle, you could write on the board. It's quite interactive. And if you've worked in Akatalk, it's similar to a classroom. Their platform is similar to a classroom. And um, so far their teaching materials also look great they look great they have like nice visuals nice materials and they also have reliable training available and if you'd like to apply you just have to go to their website i believe when i applied here i also sent a self-introduction video that i edited it had background music um and it had pictures and a little bit of sound effects i i kind of made it a bit you know, perky, just like my personality, that I sent it to them. I just click apply now. I uploaded my resume, um, my self-introduction video, and um, basically that's it. Uh, you just have to simply apply here, uh, wherever you're, you are, ESL teacher, non-English speaking countries, remote job, near native teachers from Philippines only. So you click that, and this is where you apply. And by the way, teachers, when you're applying to th these companies, I haven't really tried the rest, but I, I highly recommend that you you prepare, like you're physically prepared. You have good lighting, a noise canceling headset, because some of these companies also have like a recorded interview. Like they're gonna be asking you a question and you're gonna be given like 30 seconds to think of your answer, then you're gonna be answering on the spot. Uh, I believe that was, that was the case when I applied in Skyang if I'm not mistaken. So just be ready. Whenever you click on apply, make sure that you look presentable because, you know, we don't know if there are companies that would also do an online AI interview. So um, pretty much it's very easy to apply here in, in, in NovaKid. And uh, these five companies are companies that I've done research on. They're pretty legit. Um, the only company that I'm quite skeptical about is 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 um, English Central because they don't have like an online application. You have to send it to this email address, but the email address is legit. It's also English Central. Um, you guys know this that I'm not a fan of companies where like the email address is like at gmail.com or at yahoo.com um, because maybe they're they only have like a few students or they're not that established yet. But so far, these are companies that I've done research on. So I hope teachers to those of you who have, you know, um, been affected by what happened in China, uh, the mass termination or resignation because of the regulations, don't lose hope. You see, I'm, I'm still smiling because I'm actually one of those people who got demoted, who experienced income loss because of what happened in China. But don't really lose hope because there are so many ESL companies there. Yes, it is heartbreaking at first, quite devastating actually. But if you come to think of it, maybe it's the way the universe communicates to you that, hey, it's time for you to move to a different company that's going to you know, pay you better, that's going to going to give you more learning opportunities that's going to help you to grow as a teacher. So I hope that you like this video content. Once again, these are my top five recommended European ESL companies that would give you a graveyard or a night shift. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Teacher Karen. Comment below if you have any comments, thoughts, violent reactions. I'll do my best to respond to all of them. And to those of you who'd like to be a teacher here at Native Camp working normal hours or actually possibly graveyard as well because we our peak hours are also up to 5 a.m. Well, you could just um, send me an email at askteacherkaren at gmail.com and don't forget to add my email address as the referrer's email so that at least you could share some love and share your blessings with me as well. I'm going to help you pass and I can guarantee that this is a great place to work at as well. So don't forget to be a blessing to the people around you and I'm going to see you next time.